Well folks, hello and welcome back to the Halloween special of the Relaxing Woodshop. Uh, my name is David. Christopher says he was coming back in a minute. He'll be probably back in a minute. Here he's... What are you doing? You feel like you're gonna stay? But a boom. That is so sad. Right, so yes, my name's David. My name's Christopher. You balloon. I'm the Joker. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so bad. That is so bad. It's quite good. So this week, yes, we're not just doing any sort of steak. Now this, this is awesome. Okay, I've been thinking about this for a while in the background and all. Christopher and I, our extra, our third job. You know, we both work when we do the relaxing wood shop, and our third job is vampire hunting. Fire, vampire hunting, and any other monster that may be involved. And it's coming up that season, and. We we'll have a few problems, so we do. So we have steaks, and as you all know, when you steak a vampire, this happens. You're gonna wish you died. Now, as you well know, some vampires implode, some explode, but all... Yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking, they all try to take you with them. Yes, The Lost Boys, awesome movie as well. But we have a problem with our vampire slaying toolkit, i.e. our steak, or even werewolf. Now, I know you're going to say, you can't kill a werewolf with a steak, but bear with me. Because this is our weapon. Now, with old ones, I haven't sharpened the end of this one yet, but just to give you an idea. With old ones, it was square, it was hard. We always ended up getting splinters. So when you went like that and slid down, you got your splinters. Secondly, when it impaled into the ribs, sometimes you hang back out, right? And the third one, and the worst one of all, was if you went in and you, you were trying to get it back out, if you didn't hit that hard, they pulled it out of you and then beat you with it. <laughs> so they did. So, as Chris Rowe learned, I hard way about five Halloweens ago. But anyway, so what we need to do is we need to make the awesome weapon that is a stake that can kill werewolves and vampires and have a multi-faceted approach. Oh, that was a good word. Yeah. And something that you can... So this is the plan of action. We're going to get a big piece of wood and we're going to make the most awesome vampire killing stroke werewolf stroke killer of all. Supernatural killer. Oh, I love supernatural. Let's go. Oh, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, Chris. Are you terribly honest? I don't think the vampires become like this year. Why? Very cold. It is freezing. <laughs> are they not cold blooded? I don't know. talk about how cold it was. <laughs> Let's go. So here's our ingredients list for this week. The only thing that I'm allowed to tell you about is this post. We're going to make that into the handle of the stakes. These two bits here are classified for vampire hunters. Um, you'll see at the end what we're going to do with them, but let's get turning. Okay guys, so here is our post. Uh, post can be very handy because they've got good strength to them. They're already pre-treated, so when you're out hunting at night, uh, they, 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 do, they don't absorb the water in this in a way so you don't slip on them as hard. Now what we need to do is we need to get this to 11 inches, 11 inches. Reason being, that is the width that I need for the lathe plus the extra bit that's going on the end and I'll explain that in more depth later. So what we need to do is first cut the post and then drill a section into the post. So we'll do that. So for our core part of our steak, we need this internal um, piece of wood here. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut five inches, four inches to go into the steak, and one inch to accept the outer um, attack piece, for want of a better word. So we need five inches, and as many as you want. This is the key to this weapon. So you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're only going to do two just to show how this is going to work, but you can just make this an unlimited amount and you can stash them about during the summer months 
and then when you need them during the winter months when they're out and they're hungry you look back up have sucked out the center we've got a little nice straight hole there so we do if you cut off another wee bit off that um, piece of wood stick it in nice down and tight then we're going to cut this off then flush it now don't worry in case you think to yourself oh i'm not going to get that back out again we'll be able to drill a wee hole through it and pull it out with a screw or anything like that there but what we need to do we need to flush this because once we put it on the lathe we need a, a, wee, a, a center point for the, the the point to go in so onto this Nice and flush. Let's get turned. I went too high there. <laughs> I thought your head was going to be up here. <laughs> Make it fun, I hate it. Yeah. So now that the main part's laid out there, what we now need to do is, we now need to create, create the tip of the spear. And again, we need to drill a hole to accept our uh, dial that's gonna go into it. So let's do that. Dial in, we'll glue the dial into that. Well, folks there we go it is looking fantastic isn't it so we have the good old-fashioned one-on-one -on -one vampire one and then we can interchange it mm -hmm. for our uh, good old-fashioned vampire stroke um werewolf you know if you've got everything that you need in there what do you think what do you think, I think it's looking good nice. but... so, oh oh what's happened two seconds girlfriend went you home or something <laughs> out there huh so that's looking good Dad. Yes. We'll have a job. Oh no. I didn't think it was going to be that early. Right, well, let's weapon up. You are watching this. We're going to go live to the scene. So I'm going to use my wooden samurai sword. Get that down in there. There you go. Okay, and what are you going for? I'm going for a trusty weapon. Trusty, weapon. yeah, and I'm also going to go for the mighty Thor. What about Excalibur? No, we'll leave that for today. Yes. Enough. Yes. Let's get hunting. Right, folks, so we've arrived. For the werewolf and vampire action. Working in. Don't worry, I've got this. So we're going to split up. He's going to go that way. I'm going to go that way. And then we'll see how we can get on. We don't, don't like splitting up. But we'll think in this occasion, we'll split up. You go that way, I go this way. Okay, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. 
Chris was in trouble. Chris was in trouble. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nobody told us it's all new. Well, Chris, we're hiding it on. I got one. Don't yep, reload. Really. Yeah, yeah, what are you going for now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Hey Christopher, we don't need to do this. We don't need to do this, Christopher. No, 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 you don't. No. Christopher, that way night. Yeah. I'm sorry.